Welcome back to IGCC ICT paper, uh, paper 3.1. Uh, for May, June 2023, we will be working on website authoring right now. That's the following task after spreadsheet. So let's go back to task number three. It's about a web page. We are working as part of the team of web developers at Tower Web and have been asked to create parts of the web page for a client. To create CSS to be added to an external style sheet to meet these specifications and set the font for h1, h2, h3 and the paragraph styles so that the browser selects and displays the font in Calibri. If this font is not available, the browser selects and displays Helvetica new. If neither of these fonts is available, the browser should display its default sans serif font. So that's supposed to be all placed in the external sheet of CSS. Place a copy of your CSS in your evidence document. So let's start. We're going, first of all, to start to create it in Dreamweaver. I'm going to use Dreamweaver 2018. Uh, you're free to use whatever software you need to. I'm just going to select uh, 2018 and it's not too different than the other versions but CS6 is going to be quite different so I'm just going to use the middle one which is 2018 so let's go to file new and let's click on CSS okay one thing is I'm going to save this all right let's just uh, place just a copy and it's not mentioned to save it but anyway I'm going to save it first of all not to be lost so save as and make sure that it is in your working area is that my same working area oh no it's not I'm just going to call it style sheet all right save it and oops. okay and i got it over here and i need to make sure always my extension is visible as you can see over here. All right, let's right now create the, um, let me increase the font of this. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to add uh, three styles for H1, H2, H3 and paragraph. Don't forget the paragraph here. And we need to display that the font is supposed to be Calibri and the following font, if it's not found, that it needs to be Helvetica and otherwise it's supposed to be sans serif. So let me just go over here. So that's supposed to be H1, comma H2, H3 and NP. Here we need to open this bracket and we need to put our style over here. So for the font size or for the font, we need to put font family. The end, this IntelliSense is going to be very helpful. If it does not appear to you, then you can press control and space to make sure that it is appearing. So press on control. Uh, okay, I think this can be also helpful. So the first one is supposed to be Calibri. So make sure of the spelling. C-A-L-I-B-R-I, okay, the next one is supposed to be Helvetica New, and one thing is for sure the spelling is one thing, and another point is whenever there is a font made up of more than one word, this is just one word, but this is two words, make sure you're putting it between single quotation or double quotation. As you can see here, between double quotation, so I better put it like this, and then the last one is supposed to be the last one is supposed to be a sans serif one. So I'm just going to put C 
and serif font. Okay, that's for the first question. And copy and place your CSS in your evidence document. So I'm just copy and pasted. They said, okay, copy it, not a screenshot. So control C and then go to your next step. That's what step is that? That's step 12. So write down step 12 evidence and paste your code. Just increase the phone so whenever we're printing it is clear. For the printing purpose, I want to make it clear. Okay, let me go to the next question. Create all the head sections of a web page to meet this specification. So create a head section of a web page, okay, to meet these specifications. So we need to create an HTML and in that HTML part we have the header and we have the head, we have the body, right? So that head section, we need it to meet those following specifications. Title of the web page is weather data. The meta tags, there are meta tags that we can use it in the head. So the character is supposed to be ISO and the name of the author, Tawara Web, and followed with the space and your name. Description. Okay, all right. First, let's start to create that HTML file. And again, I'm going to save it into the same location. Okay, over here. So as you can see, this is the head part and this is my body part. What I need to do is right now, I need to put all those details in the head part. So the first point is, to create a title named as weather data. So we need to go to the head section. And we need to put in the title. We just need to simply replace this title to be the weather data. Okay, the next one. We need to set the character of encoding, character encoding to ISO this number. Okay, I'm going just to copy this. And what does that mean? The encoding mostly in any website, they have their own way of encryption or encoding. So this is one type of the encoding or encoding characters. So let's just copy it. And let's go to our web page that we just made it right now. And let's go to the head section. After the title, we, right now all the meta tags, all of those meta tags that we're going to make them right now, they, all of them, they start with the meta. Let me put them next to each other over here so we will be able to see and link it. Okay, so let's start with the metadata first meta. That's always just one and then we have to put all the points in over here. So I'm going to put meta. The first point is going to be uh, for the character, we usually use the word or the attribute gar set, as you can see over here. And then you're going to find different types of encryptions over here. And we're chosen to, or we're supposed to put the ISO, this one. Okay. The next one is, again, going to be also metadata. So I'm going to create another one. Okay. And that's going to put the author in it. So for the author, they're usually name. So I'm just going to put name equal to author. And then I'm going to put the content of the author is supposed to be Tawara. Yes, Tawara Web. Okay. And then it followed by space and your name. Okay. All right. That's clear right now. So the name is supposed to be author. And then over here, it's supposed to be right now the content, as you can see. That's supposed to be Tawara Web and space and your name. So in this way. The next one, it's supposed to be also uh, so description. Description is also a meta. So meta. And 
And again, at this time, we're going to make sure that it is a description. Actually, it's going to appear to you. There are a couple of them, as you can see here. So that's going to be a description. And for the description, what we're supposed to put over here is this point. Okay, so the content. So for each meta, we have usually different attributes. In car set, it's just the different types of encryptions. In each then of data, you have usually name and then its content. So for this one, the content is already obvious given to us. For the next one, it's called the viewport of the width. And usually there is an initial scale. Most of the scales are usually by default one. That means it is the zooming of the page. In here, we have to set it to two. That means it's going to be double size of the normal view or larger a bit. So let's set this. This is also going to be meta. And again, I will have the name. In this case, it's going to be apparently view viewport. And then the content is going to be multiple points. So let's start first with the point that's going to be the width. So we will have the width. That's not mentioned. Okay, here to mention. It's going to be the device, the width of the device. So first thing is going to be the width that's equal to device width. Okay, and then comma, the next point, which is the initial scale. So initial scale will be equal to two. I'm just going to copy this. And one point here, it is written in this way, initial scale equal to two. If you want to be more accurate, two point zero. That's the way we have to write the viewport. And then the last point is the keyword. Set to appropriate meta tags, keywords, for use by search engine for this page. Keywords are will make it easy for you to lead to the page. Okay, I didn't close it. Let's go for the next one. Metadata. Here we're going to use again the name. It's going to be the keywords. And we have the content to be any keywords that we can choose it for this page. So this is mostly related about weather and we can just choose the name of the so if they're asking for two just put the content two words I'm going to put weather all right the last thing is set the default target window to blank if the new page is open from within the web page okay for that point also we're going to put it over here in the head so that's going to be equal to base and the attribute will be target equal to blank all right that's all for this part and then finally what you need to do place a copy of your html source in your evidence Documents so of copy it all, and that's step number 13. Um, I think um, there is a type of phone that looks like a Coding font, which is called, I guess, Courier. But yeah, that looks much better like a coding. I'm going to apply this one all as well to this step. Okay, perfect. For the next point is... Okay, that's the end of the HTML. Then just make sure you are saving your files. And for the last point is just printing your evidence documents. Make sure that you're printing your evidence document and that your name and everything is appearing over it. So just save this one and at the end print this one. Just make sure your name and center number and candidate number is appearing. And if you have any questions or any points, make sure to put it in the